Good late Monday morning. I'm certified meteorologist Nick Kelly checking in once again on this August 27th, 2019. Thankfully, Mother Nature is giving us a break in the action. We deserve it after we had to deal with, you could argue, two rounds of severe thunderstorms as we went through our Monday. Let's break down what on earth happened. First, we had the early afternoon thunderstorms coming out of Kansas City with a few strong wind gusts around the beta, with the bulk of the action staying around Stockton Lake and then diving southeast through Springfield and down towards Table Rock Lake. Then we had to deal with the late afternoon and evening batch of severe thunderstorms that really got going on top of southeastern Kansas. Let's zoom in. Let's see what those storms did. In addition to a few quick tornado touchdowns around Columbus and Cherokee County, we had quarter-sized hail around Skidmore and Scammon yesterday evening, half-dollar-sized hail between Columbus and Crestline, even a 60-mile-per-hour wind gust just south of Columbus with maybe a quick report of some flash flooding around Baxter Springs. In Ottawa County, that's where the storms really got going and intensified quickly with wind speeds pushing 60 to 70 miles per hour. That allows uh, numerous large trees to come down, and some of those trees fell on some homes, especially around Fairland in Ottawa County. Then as we worked over Grand Lake, we had quite a few reports of large tree limbs down around Grove, along with uh, 60 mile per hour wind gusts, a couple reports of 60 mile per hour wind gusts in uh, Landigan as you work in the McDonald County. All of these storms contributing to over, goodness, I think a six, over at least 6,000 uh, power outages across the area, and I'm sure crews are still busy trying to restore power across the area. And not only that, we got quite a bit of rain out of these thunderstorms. You, if you didn't get the rain, you didn't see much, of course, but where the storms did fire, you picked up on average at least half an inch, but the embedded heavy pockets were pushing one, two, three, if not four inches of rain, especially in Ottawa County when the storms really intensified. So it's nice to see 7th and Range Line looking a lot better than this time yesterday. We are seeing partly sunny skies from the east side of the city. Uh, 78 at Joplin Regional with a north breeze at 5. That's finally starting to bring in some drier air, allowing the humidity to drop down to 74%. I remember uh, yesterday afternoon it was just warm and muggy as we got the afternoon underway. Temperatures in general, most of us in the middle, if not upper 70s already. You can argue Chanute, one of the warmest spots in the area just before we hit the noon now, right about 80 degrees. So where do we go from here? So thankfully, we are starting to see our skies turn partly sunny. Any showers trying to come at us or trying to sneak in from central Kansas, I think those will generally fall apart since we do have drier air working in, and drier air likes to eat up quite a bit of rain. The main action is going to be along and ahead of the cold front. As that continues to sink south, that means the action will continue to move farther away from the area. And high pressure building in behind the front will keep in control of our skies. That will allow skies to turn eventually mostly sunny before sunset. And it will keep us nice and quiet for the rest of the day, including tonight. Plus, at the stream level, it's nice to know that the upper level wave responsible for aiding in the development of the thunderstorms that we had to deal with. It's off to the east and that upper level ridge keeping the heat in the desert southwest. So that leaves us in pretty good shape for the rest of the day. Partly sunny to start the afternoon. We'll stay partly sunny for a good portion of the afternoon with highs around 81. Then before we hit sunset, we should have mostly sunny skies and temperatures dropping back to 77 by 7 o'clock. And thankfully, we'll stay mostly clear tonight with temperatures cooling off quite a bit. You can you know, almost argue uh, you may have to turn on the heaters with overnight lows dropping off to 61. That's just around the Joplin area, but everybody else is going to fare the same way. Partly the mostly sunny skies as we go throughout the rest of the afternoon. Highs around 80, 81 degrees. And then as we say, mostly clear with drier air continuing to work in. That'll allow temperatures to drop off quite a bit. Most spots around 60 or 61. But you can't rule out a couple upper 50s, especially as you work away from the bigger cities like Pittsburgh and Joplin. Then we look really good for your Wednesday. Mostly sunny with high pressure right on top of us. That keeps us mostly sunny and highs back in the lower 80s. At the jet stream level, let's see how we look for the rest of the week, through the rest of the week, rather. Thankfully, this upper ridge will stay in the desert southwest, so that keeps the 90 degree plus temperatures away. And as long as we stay on the cool side of the jet with no big systems in tow, we will stay quiet, not only for Wednesday, but all the way through Thursday, with highs bouncing between the lower to middle 80s. It's not until we head into Friday and Saturday as we begin the uh, Labor Day weekend. That is when we'll see our next storm system begin to roll in. Thunderstorm chances gradually picking up throughout Friday, and I think it's a pretty good bet we'll have mostly cloudy skies and at least scattered thunderstorms as we head towards Saturday. So even though we have to start the holiday weekend with thunderstorm chances with our next storm system, 
It won't be storming all weekend long. You can see by the end of the seven-day forecast, we'll go partly sunny on Sunday and then mostly sunny for Labor Day with temperatures staying nice and warm. It's at least keeping the heat away. So, lower 80s today and tomorrow. 81 degrees to be exact. Let's go 84 on your Thursday with sky staying quiet, partly to mostly sunny. Thunderstorm chances knocks us to 85 on Friday and 80 on Saturday. Then we just keep in the lower to middle 80s as we round up the rest of the Labor Day weekend. Have a great day, everybody.